I gotta come in, I can't change gears. I love my girlfriend, she always makes me smile. He's an idiot. Great exchange with these two. Oh, Davey, what are you doing there? <laughs> What's the deal with fuel? We're a litre and a half short on total. It's... Make sure you got the, your size. There's times where I'm sure he's wanted to belt me and there's times I wanted to belt him. Yeah, yeah. And a wonderful moment for everybody at Erebus Motorsport. He's going to be one of the top in the So this week I um, competed my 300th race for the category and you know when I first started I never thought I'd reach that milestone but it's been a good fun ride and hopefully there's another 300 to go. It feels like I've achieved nothing though. <laughs> when you look back at it like... That is not the case. I, uh, yeah but you know when, you, when you're younger you want to come here and like win all the championships and be like Wind Cup but you just turn out. Nothing like that. <laughs> it's a lot it's harder. Hard. It's really hard, isn't it? You yeah. know about that. Yeah. I'm sorry I just ruined my tongue. Spray that with some sort of protector and keep it. Taxidermy. Yeah, yeah taxidermy in the shoe. It's so round five of the championship. We're in Perth at Barbagello Raceway. And what we're really looking forward to this year, for the very first time ever, is to go racing under lights. In the daylight, you know the edge of the road and it's really a delineated line that you run the car right up to the edge of and you go, oh, I've got this. But when you don't know where it is, it makes it pretty wild. There's something about running under lights that makes racing look cool. Flames, glowing brakes, cars sparkling. Night races are fun. You feel like you're going a lot faster than what you are. Everyone's looking forward to getting, I think the whole category is going to look forward to getting there. car field. They've been called into position by their engineers. It's race 12, the Pertec Perth Super Night. It's a full field of flame throwing supercars under lights in Perth. And it's a wonderful start for Jamie Winkup and he's going to clear McLaughlin to turn one. Winkup gets the whole shot in the Red Bull Holden racing team car. And Dave Reynolds is trying to take advantage down the inside. In fact, the hands on deeper squally. Dave Reynolds is the next car in line. So the Penrite teammates work together and now they're alongside each other. So this is on. Little bump between the teammates over the hill. Love your work, Davey. Back in your rhythm. Close that gap to Shane. Next car for position is Anton. Can you, um, when Dave gets to you, can you let him go pretty quickly? Well, team orders will always be controversial. I mean, historically, team orders have happened everywhere, whether it's in Formula One, in sports car racing, the Le Mans, it's wherever you like. How you handle team orders is actually the issue. It's how you execute team orders. Okay, make it easier for Dave. Please make it easier for Dave. He's going to let you go. Come on, Dave, get f closer. If you're in the car and the teammate's coming at you and is clearly faster, then you should be able to use your brain and let him straight by. I mean, that's the reality. You're just going to have to let him pass. Next lap. Down the back straight, he's letting him pass. They're just holding each other up. It's bullshit. Next lap, tell Anton to let him pass. Back straight. Come on, boys. It's super important, obviously, to have a strong team relationship where you can make calls, where if a car's fast, whatever, you can let them go in a way you're not losing time for both of you. I mean, you have to let Dave pass, please. You have to let Dave pass, that's the order. Turn seven. Well, I, I can't expect me to roll out of it. But I'll let him pass, he'll let Rick Halley pass too. A couple spots there. That's why we said two laps ago. Oh, did I tell you? That's why we said it two yeah, laps ago. Tell you. you didn't tell him. What, what did I tell you? Tell him to let him pass, that's what I said. I oh, say twice. You didn't say, you said let it make it easy. Yeah, or well, twice. You didn't say let him pass. Yeah, and then let pass. You didn't say let him pass, Murphy. We actually probably need to sit down and really 
have a decent plan as when another team car comes up behind if he's much faster on a different strategy, we've got to find a part of the track that's going to not cost time to let him past. Instead of trying to race each other, you're holding each other up. Just, just let him go past. So when you put a race engineer like Mirko, very good at his craft, in a garage alongside a team leader like Barry, who's been around the game, there's going to be headbutts. And I can't think of anyone in the pit lane I'd rather not headbutt with than Barry. Jump on the right and tell him to come too. Hey? Too. You're the I'm engineer. I fucking told you to do it. Race number 12 of the championship, and it goes to Scott McLaughlin in a beautiful drive after 83 laps. That was a really good learning curve for everyone in the team. We qualified terrible, we qualified 12th. We're expecting to be a lot higher up. We passed like six cars. Both car 9 and 99 move forward probably more than anyone else in the field. I assume it would have been a bit of a shit fight in the pits, but it would be great to watch. I was trying to bring you with me. I was trying to, like, help come with me. Thanks, mate. Well done. Good job. That was Scotty. Bye, mate. Don't worry, got your ear off. Uh, everything I do, I just I, I want to do right, like, whether it's, you know, cutting the wood at home or or racing, racing cars, I just I want to do it right. And sometimes it's a downfall because it looks like I'm a bit arrogant or, you know, impatient, but it's, it's just, I want stuff to be done right. We're here as part of the Erebus Academy to try and teach some junior drivers to go from carts to racing cars. It's an initiative we've put together with Anton Paul Morris and Erebus Academy and Dave Serrett. Anything to do with driving, Anton loves doing. So, you know, Anton's actually passionate for it. As a teacher, he's, he's incredible. He's a really good mentor and he's really good with the kids and he knows his, he knows his stuff. It's good to help young kids that have a goal, have a vision. I was one of those kids not too long ago. So to be help them with what I know and what we know and what we can facilitate is, is quite good. So when they give back and, and they're enjoying it, it's, a, it's quite easy to enjoy helping them. I haven't really seen the side of him, but he's really good with the kids and he's got really good knowledge, really good information, and he can help them along the way. Where I am kind of different, because <laughs> no one's really taught me how to do it properly and I've just sort of made it up as I've gone along and made adjustments and never really had to think about it real methodically. So for me to teach someone it's a little bit more difficult. With him, it looks like it comes completely natural. So yeah, me and Anton jumped in the car and I'm a little bit nervous because, you know, my ego doesn't want to get beaten. Yeah, see the front of Oh. First lesson. Teach me how to start. How to use the clutch. How do you do it? How to use the clutch. <laughs> so teach me Ace, you come here all the time and I'm Mate. so amateur at life. You've got to be fine in like 30 seconds. I'll tell you what, I'm not, I've actually I've got to psych myself up to do this shit. Right. <laughs> yeah boy, now we go. Oh yeah boy. <laughs> you can make a career out of this. done a million miles around this track and knows the cars back to front, knows the track back to front. What am I? I'm not going to go any faster than he would, so... So we've come up with something different. Oh! I got a brake <laughs> They're school cars, so they've got a, you know, a brake pedal on the passenger side. So you do the brakes and I'll do the gas. Yeah? And we try to make it around. <laughs> this team's easier. <laughs> <laughs> go, boy, go! Go on. I'm invested in this now. We sell that. Test the character. Trust me. Ah! Trust me? Yep. Oh, this is sick. <laughs> Ace, you're doing the brakes. <laughs> this is a lot of trust involved. This is that. Yeah. Happy you trust me. It was freaky. It was scary. Because, like, you go into a corner, flatten on the gas, and you're like, I don't know if I trust him. <laughs> 
was quite cool. He had to trust me a lot because he was basically just driving flat out, getting off the gas and hoping I would break. And uh, it was it was good fun, probably good team bonding too. <laughs> Oh, that's the most stressful of the stress of a thing. I'm gonna go, you know what? I did the braking. <laughs> that's fun. So round six, we head to Winton Motor Raceway, which is in regional Victoria. We love coming to this part of the world. The landscape is absolutely stunning. It really is so beautiful. Winton's hard. Winton's really, really hard. Why? Remember Dick Johnson once said it's like doing a marathon around a clothesline? Yes, it's a slow average speed, three kilometres, 12 corners, and a lot of second gear stuff. But there's always been great racing. The cars end up being close. It's a place that tends to promote mistakes. It was actually not designed for our cars, clearly. Our cars are too big for it, which is fantastic. This is not Mustang country. I think we can expect Commodore to come back into the frame here, so there's going to be a scramble amongst the Commodore guys. And I think Erebus, from testing here, gee whiz, I'd like to think they can do well here this weekend. Thunderstorm went through at about 10 o'clock last night, lasted for a couple of hours. Outfield is very wet here at the moment. You're a hard man, Mr. Flamenco. You didn't crack. Smile. I didn't even. I was never gonna. <laughs> she won't sit for this now. Nervous. <laughs> okay. Um, in 30 seconds, what my husband is. Daniel's an enigma. He just knows my puzzle pieces. He knows how to put me together properly. He can. He doesn't pick me up when I'm down. He kicks me in the butt. That's the type of person Daniel is. It's funny. The first time at Betty, it was, it was almost like an instant connection. I mean, I met her on the Saturday. I think I was over there on the Sunday having lunch. And in two weeks, we'd moved in together. Yeah, it just worked from the moment, day dot. He, he does things, little things for me, like he'll... You know, he tucks me in at night, still, like I'm a child. He'll come downstairs at nine o'clock and he tucks me, he literally tucks me into the bed and kisses me on the forehead and says, have you got everything? Because I like to have a water and I like to have a black chocolate next to my bed and I read my book. That's things that make my life complete. I don't need someone yelling and screaming out at me, I love you, I love you. He, he does things that are more than that. He's not perfect, he's far from it. But I don't think there's a person ever now or will be that loves me as much as he does or who loves him as much as I do. We're very unique people. <laughs> very unique. Actually scares me a little bit. plus supercars, plus a bit of water, plus 40 laps. There will be action. Nice start for Fabian Coulthard. Neck and neck with Mostert on the run to turn one. Who's the bravest? Who gets in further? Bump and grind through turn one. Coulthard prevails. Mostert's up on the outside. Watch Courtney in here as well. They're three wide on the run to turn three. Fabian Coulthard, James Courtney's going to grab second. Oh, Dave. Well, I don't think there's much he could have done there. Watch for David Reynolds because he's got one of the Shell Mustangs under here and it's McLaughlin. McLaughlin's got from seventh to second. He could be second by the time they get to turn five, but he's on the outside. Whoa, contact between the teammates. They are both off the road. Both off the road. Yes. What a moment. This is massive in this year's championship. And Dave, make the move quick. Here you go now. We work there, Davey. Pressure on him. See if you can make a move. James Courtney leads. David Reynolds is second. The reality around this now, why Mostert's so energised, is he's saying, how can this bloke go off, off the road, come back out in front of me? Yeah, well, you're supposed to get back on, like, yeah. before Penrite. Right? Yeah. Not there. Mm. So now he's just slotted back in where he shouldn't have been. Oh, oh shit! Dave. 
and there's the little bump. No way. You can't do that. That was all right. Yeah, good job. He had yeah. an overlap on it. Yeah. Update from Cam's race control. Five second penalty for David Reynolds. The incident down there at turn four, lap two. So this time penalty, say there's a safety car now, we'll pit. We can't do our time penalty during the safety car. At the end of the race, will they just take it off? Stop. They haven't stopped yet, no. Still got to do a pit stop here. I reckon that Stewart's actually got that one pretty much right. I reckon that's the right sort of penalty. When the penalty fits the crime, you can't blew about it too much and you just had to take that one on the chin. Yeah, pit this one, Davey. Pit this one So you will stay in the bay for five seconds after you drop. Stay in the bay for five seconds after you drop. Are you serious? Five seconds is going to put him back in about fourth position. In other words, behind James Courtney. Now just make sure you're all sorted for this procedure. We don't want to lose time if we can avoid it. That's just five seconds. As soon as the car drops, five seconds. I've already done it. I've already done it. Car number 17, Shell V Power Racing. Scott McLaughlin is victorious at Winton. And David Reynolds gets home in third position. Love you. Mate. Hey, bro. So close. How did McLaughlin keep his spot? It's called going out back. He did less mileage than all of us. <laughs> yeah. Missed the sector. I know. To get a five second penalty and still ultimately get a podium shows we've got good speed. You know, the Mustangs have still got something on us and leaving the day's first holding is always a good thing and it's our target. At least it's a good start to a good week. But normally we shit house on Saturday, but today we're good. Sunday. That means even Sunday, we're gonna be fing better. I thought you were gonna win today. So did I. I thought, oh this is looking good as and soon then. As soon as they all start spitting off the track. And then I got a five second penalty and I was oh, and that was tough. Mustang was a huge project for us and for Ford Performance to undertake and we did the best we could within the rules and we saw that with the ZB Commodore when that was introduced in 2018. That thing came out of the box and it was an absolute weapon and it surprised all of us. We basically knew for us to be competitive with this new package we had to raise the game and that's what we did. We built the best car we could within the rules and I can tell you something, we're damn proud of it. It's, I, it's, for me, it's just about being equal, about the parity. Uh, let's just call it specs. We can, all, we can all reach those specs, but if the spec is higher for one car than another, it doesn't matter how well a good driver does, he'll never get there. The best we could do was third. Whoa. It's 18 past eight, it's Danny and Taz, and Danny's struggling. I'm Just nervous, I'm nervous, we've got a guest in the You're studio. You're wrecking the studio. <laughs> uh, we're joined by one of the supercar drivers, one of the superstars of this weekend, uh, David Reynolds. Good morning. Good morning, thanks for having me. Now, supercars of this weekend, uh, what are you driving? Like supercars? Like, no, what type of car? Is it a Ford? Is it a Holden? Oh, it's a Holden, yeah. It's a Holden. Holden okay. ZB Commodore, yeah. Oh, gosh, he's a comedian, isn't yeah. he? Yeah, he's very funny. He'll keep you on your toes. I just yeah. woke up, just give me a break. Now, you are currently fourth on the Supercars Champion Points scoreboard, is that right? Correct, yeah. So are you here to, like, bump it up a bit, you know? You... Oh, there's only a few points between you and third place. Too. Yeah, there's myself and um, third, Shane, we're pretty close yeah. in points, but the next two are they're a fair way down the road, so they're going to be hard to catch. But yeah, our, our objective is to end up third by the weekend. I drive a 2019 Mitsubishi Triton, and in fact, you're just talking yeah. about the track. It looks like an elephant moving. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness! It's big and slow. It, no, he was talking about me, not the car. Which was... <laughs> <laughs> right, look, uh, David Reynolds. Uh, good luck for the weekend, and hopefully, we're seeing you in that third spot by uh, Sunday afternoon. No worries. Thanks for having me. Good luck. Appreciate it. Anton. Oi, um, get your hand off your dick and get out of bed and I'll come and get you now. Yeah, I'm just about to shower, so I'll be ready. Yeah, yeah, sure. About 10 minutes or something? Uh, yeah, I'll probably be 15 minutes. Yeah, right, that's probably good. Alright, I'll see you in a sec. Yeah. Bye. Right.
So round seven, we head to Darwin, Hidden Valley Raceway, Crocodile Country, located just 12 kilometres outside of the city centre. So Hidden Valley Circuit at Darwin is actually a really good layout. It looks pretty basic, but it's got more rise and fall than you think. Big, long, straight. Braking is really imperative. The vehicle dynamics look fantastic there. Oh. There's trouble at the final corner as well. It's a much more difficult thing to do than most people understand, to basically put yourself in an enclosed room, crank the temperature up to somewhere between 50 and 60 degrees, and then have a heart rate somewhere between 150 to 200 beats a minute. Not easy. I've already signed that one. Hang on. <laughs> Do you want a couple of these? Do you want to go press that? Okay. Got the big wets on it. Oh, uh, they're speedway tires. Are they? Yeah. So you're hanging out? Um, hey, buddy. Hanging out? Yeah, I'm just going to my phone. Okay. Describe Anton in 15 seconds. So he's young, enthusiastic, he's funny, and he's a bit weird. I like that. Dave is a person, um, he's a larrick and he's funny, he's cool. He's filming all this. Yeah, <laughs> Will that get us something? Any that you want. From the day I met him to, to now, I'm um, just an easy person to get along with, and uh, there's not someone who would say a bad thing about Dave. It is Moose. It is Tony. <laughs> I want to shoot him. As a teammate, he provides very good feedback for us. Um, he drives a car within an inch of its life, like I do. Oh, oh shit. Oh, it's right in the front of you. <laughs> As a teammate, he's very helpful, um, very informative, um, also very competitive, so he's, uh, he's, he's going out there to win every race. As a racer, he would be fast, competitive, a little bit arrogant, which is kind of good, you need that. You come out the other day, how's that going for you? Yeah, good. <laughs> Actually come out the other day, he said he was gay. Really? Yep. Dave is a racer, he's fast, intense, but he's very fair. I think fairness is probably one of his main traits. Can I get some tomato sauce too, when you get a chance? Yeah, right on. I say that this is the most accessible sport for fans in the country. For the lack of experience, he makes up on the track. Hang on. For the lack of Mark Scaife he's got in himself, he makes it up with some Russell Ingle. How do you reckon you go up here? Yeah, it's to be fine. Like, the Ford will still be good, but... Mm. Those Woolard Penske cars are still good. Cake, right? Hey? A little bit of sugar in the tank. Can you? I'll pay you. Yeah, yeah. Well, it is the, the tank is sugar. I'm the general manager of communications. I look after PR and media, all our social platforms, memberships, so it's a bit of everything. We're a small team, so we do a lot. How are you? What's up? How's it going? Hey, Matt, how are you going? What? <laughs> <laughs> Diffuse me. This is one of the longest straights in the country. Nailed it. Yeah, we'll do one more, <laughs> just on that. Shot rich level repo. Yep. They're employed as professional racing car drivers, but it's probably 20% of the job. Because if you think about it, out of 52 weeks, they go racing 15 weeks a year. But then when they're not at the racetrack, they're probably doing at least three days a week for us. So it doesn't stop. Don't be fing superstitious, you bunch of wankers. <laughs> no, I like it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> You're such a wanker. <laughs> Pussies, aren't they? If I was to change something about Dave, it would be his willingness to do things. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> Mindle Beach. Vesties Beach. Vesties Beach. Sounds good. Vesties. Yeah. Like F, like in, it gross. Like a bee, not oh, no, festies. like in, in Festies. In Festies. In Festies Beach. Festies. Good work, Shannon. 
as we've sort of grown in our stature, we've got a lot more recognised and then people ask more of you. Meet some really interesting people, some really funny people. <laughs> well, is there crocodiles out there? Oh, I only saw about three come past here today, so, so we're OK. We're OK. <laughs> I'm shit scared of them. That and snakes are f***ing hate. I'm out. Becky. No, no, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. No, I'm out, I'm out. No, f*** no. I don't care. It's harmless. I don't care. I'm sure we can bring him back. I'm out, I'm f***ing out, eh? Yeah, well, yeah. Come on, closer. She's pulling us close. Here we are. <laughs> Awesome. Lovely. Thank you. So we understand obviously how important all the, all the promotional stuff is for our sponsors and our fans and our, all our members and, and the team. So we'll do whatever we can to keep everyone happy and engage everyone as much as possible. They're obviously the people that follow us and, uh, and that's what we're about, so it's cool. You reckon you can beat the Mustang? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, two in particular. Yeah. Oh, but... I'm going to try. You've, you've been pushing Davey really well. Yeah, give it a go. Yeah. Uh, it's good to see someone actually giving it to Dave for a challenge. <laughs> yeah, had a little bit too easy for too long, eh? I oh, have, yeah. <laughs> So what are you going to do to mark your first win? Just, just a big-ass burnout. What else you do? We're going to hold you to that. Yeah, I'll do a huge one. No, we're, we're good. Home? Oh, we're going to do Cold Rock first. How'd you go? Did you get some money out of him? <laughs> Do you get money out of it? Uh, maybe, yeah. It's a bit, uh, a bit how you going here, isn't it? Hey, the best. wave to all my fans? You should. All you New Zealand fans out there. Hey! Don't need that hat, do I? You've got to get this, because Shannon will be like, where's your hat, you idiot? Sponsors pay for TV coverage, and what's on TV is their heads, so we try and plaster it with a sponsor logo. Boys, no, no, thank you. Unfortunately, they don't like wearing hats. Anton, I can understand, he kind of has pretty hair, but David's hair's not that great, so he should try and wear hats as much as he can. Give him your hat. <laughs> as soon as he plucked second, it went. Erebus and Penrite have been very good at this location with both their cars this weekend. Anton's going with 22 seconds. Everybody has done their lap, bar David Reynolds at turn seven, the Penrite entry. Come on, Davey. He looks very strong here at the moment. He drops the right rear into the gravel coming out of 14. It's not going to be quite enough, but it'll be close. Oh, yes. Reynolds P2 does a 6-1. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, mate. Good job, good job. Yeah, boy, it's going to that. Well done. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. David Reynolds, all the pressure on this young man, the fastest of the Holden drivers all weekend. He's had four pole positions throughout his career at this layout. He loves it. And one of the places that he loves is that run down into turn one. What's up, Betty? It, it is filthy hot up here. You'd hate it. I know that all the tanks are working all right. <laughs> so coming out of 2018, you would think with Dave having a pole and a win at Hidden Valley, Anton did a really good job the year before also. So from a team perspective, both drivers like the layout. So you'd expect a reasonable result. Tradition tells us this is going to be a great battle to the first turn. It's another gorgeous Darwin day. The sun's blazing and so are the supercars. Wow, bump and grind between Davison and Reynolds on the run to one. They are three wide at the start of this 42 lap race. McLaughlin on the inside. Reynolds gets the squeeze going with his teammate. Anton out wide on the dirty stuff. Up the inside comes Davis, and this is going to be tight on the exit, but McLaughlin gets away with it on the outside. Yeah, so live your rhythm now, mate. Smooth and consistent. Work hard at getting wheel. Water 
Rose is in a slightly awkward spot and gets it all crossed up on the run to five. Car 99, four tyres only. Car 99, four tyres only. Not a very good stop and massive drama oh, for Anton no. on the right front. No. Can't afford these on these quick stops. That's f shit. Okay, don't worry about it. Uh, we've got to try and make up as much as we can. Everybody's getting docked 100 bucks. team sport and the teams let Anton down today so you know accidents happen but you know we practice for a reason so we, we don't expect accidents with um with the wheel nut but um anyway we'll fix it and we'll move on. That was very very crisp that time by Penrite Racing no issue oh. today, Reynolds. Oh. That's a pin low penalty for him now. Press on, press on. Good job, good job. Press on, press on. Smooth fast laps. Boss is going to go past you now. We need smooth fast laps. 23 to go. I would think there will be some repercussions with the contact into the fast lane. Good job, boys. Battle on for third between Reynolds and Waters. Go defensive if you need to. Go defensive if you need to. You got this. Driver's window. Hey? Driver's window's gone. Yeah, the whole side's And that would have been contact with his teammate early in the game. Remember, they were side to side down there at turn one, almost certainly. Great performance by Scott McLaughlin in Darwin. 150 points in the bank. Mostert gets home in second position. Reynolds hangs on to third. They made up for oh, the bad stuff. Man, I was hard on the curve. I was like, I, I couldn't I do any more. Yeah. It's good fun. Yeah. I just lost out to Will, which sucked. <laughs> That's a start. Yeah, ice baths, I... Um, I'm in them a lot, especially the hot races. You've got to, you know, cool your body temperature down as quick as you can and recover for the next day. But I actually hate doing them because I'm just a pussy. A giant pussy. I don't do too much of anything. I did one or two for the whole year. It's because I piss in him. He doesn't like it. I'm thinking about getting in there, he's already in there, then the water's dirty and I, I don't trust him after that. No, he's never, he goes, nah, I don't need it. He thinks he's like hardcore, he doesn't need it at all. No, I'm okay. I don't need it. Yeah, those um, DJR cars are pretty fast at the minute. Both, both cars are very fast. They're like, you know, yeah, there's, there's six Fords in the category and they were all in the top ten in qualifying. We did the best we could and um, we feel we maximised our day, but I don't know what we're going to have to do to catch that Mustang at the moment. Hey boys, I had a great race, like there was stuff going on, the car wasn't the best to drive, um, my window fell out, at 250 k's down the front straight which scared me. Every time you roll out the car you got confidence in it and you can drive it hard and yeah, so hopefully a wind's not too far away, but I have to beat one other car in the field which is extremely fast at the minute. Thank you. Hey, he's getting hammered. <laughs> <laughs> what about David Reynolds? His contract's up too. I'm going to DJR, Team Penske, <laughs> just like you are. We went for uh, sort of a bit more aggressive strategy, went for the undercut on everyone, which would have worked, um, but had a really long pit stop, had a bit of a, an issue there on one of the front wheels. When teams are spending so much money and working so hard to save tenths of seconds here and there, to have something like that cost them tens of seconds, that's just heartbreaking. Sunday, another day. Yeah, a bit frustrated, especially when you get a chance to get a trophy um, and you sort of lose that opportunity. But it is a team sport, so 
you know, I've made many mistakes which has cost good results and it's going to happen again. Um, so it is what it is. You just got to work together to make it better and make a better day out of the next one. Kind of wake up and thinking about what changes you're going to make and how you're going to go about it a little bit different to the day before. We usually go a bit better on Sundays, so we will find out. Everyone just assumes I know where I'm going, which I've never driven to the track. Practically, I follow the road, and where that goes, that's where I go. That's just it. If you ask me where to break, I'll tell you. <laughs> Out of all that, I lost my lip balm. <laughs> Beyond gorgeous conditions in Darwin for race 16 of the championship, 200 kilometres. The news that Scott McLaughlin has taken his 11th Armour All Pole of 2019. Other interesting news is that rivals Jamie Winkup and Shane Van Gisbergen are well down the order mark. Ripple not even in the top 10 here. It's still it's the Mustang that you look at and go, wish we could have that, but... But, I mean, I think they'd probably want your straight line speed for Bathurst too, right? Exactly, yeah. Bathurst is going to be real interesting. How's Anton? He seemed a little bit frustrated. He's all right, yeah. He's just aiming high and like a race driver should. He wants to be his teammate as the first thing, and, but he should be pretty happy, really. But. Well, at least you've got two quick guys, so... Yeah. Doing a good job. It doesn't get any better than the top end in winter. Do the NT. 25 world-class drivers are going to do that right now. Off they go on the 200k journey. Mostert aggressively looks to the inside from back on the grid. McLaughlin's got a beautiful run, though. Side by side with his teammate Fabian Coulthard, who's trying to stay there. That's a tough task. Scotty disconnects from the apex a bit, but he prevails. Reynolds has made another blinder. Has he grabbed second? I think he has. Yes. Yeah, Davey, yeah. Now stay there like Will did. Between lap 10 and 12, we'll be coming in, highly likely, and it'll be about 10 to 12 seconds of fuel. So everyone get ready. Mate, you have fuel in hand on everyone in front of you. You need to push hard, pass that Gisberg and close up the guys in front. David has had a quicker car all weekend, but can he put it to any decent effect? Yep. Nice, David. F off, Shane. Oh, he's had a dive down at 14, and he's got it done, Fabian Coulthard. Nice work. I made him away very fast. It's alright, it's just, we haven't had a different strategy. Let him go, it's alright. Yeah, I made him at the same size, he's really bad. He's still in the top five, really easy. Dave's on the top three. 46 litres went into Anton Di Pasquale versus 60 for Dave Reynolds. Maybe just let Antoine know there's four seconds more fuel in Dave's car. So you're not sort of telling him to let him pass, you're just telling him to make it easy. And that's probably the right thing to do. David's got pace and form here. Good job. Yeah. Antoine, Antoine hit the brake lights to tell him to yeah. go fast. Good. Good pit lane times. Fastest cars in pit lane. First and five. First and second at the moment. One and two. Yeah. He squares it up out of the last corner. Scott McLaughlin wins the Darwin Triple Crown. David Reynolds home. 14.2 seconds. Just being corrected to 13.8 seconds as they cross the line. Come on. Good job, mate. Oh, mate. No, I don't want a hook. A hook. <laughs> When we win a race. Well done, Shan. Good job, guys. Yeah, we got second um, in that race, 13 seconds behind McLaughlin, so, you know, it's a creditable effort, but being that far behind the, the Ford and just sort of sick of being 
just the first Holden, which is still a good accomplishment, but you know, we, we want to be winning races, not 13 seconds behind the leader. Hold on. Sorry, mate. We couldn't Had wait for you, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you, kept, you kept us on as, so we have to go for it. Yeah, no, I mean, the car is great, the, the kid is great. He won. Thanks, boys. Well done, good job. Well, the rest of the fast as in pit lane, we did everything we could. Really? Yeah, yeah. both cars were. Yeah. <laughs> Second place today from Penrite Racing. Give it up for Davey Reynolds. Yeah, I'm so happy with all the boys. Like, I just love them to bits. They just, they work hard and, you know, they them good. Al's super smart, Mirko's super smart. Yeah, fast cars in pit lane, you know, fast cars in the race, even though we are in a Holden. <laughs> we'll swamp by Fords there, but hopefully we'll, we'll get them back next round. So what are we doing today, baby? We are going out to Sweets Lagoon to hang out with Matt Wright and Hang out with some crocodiles. Yeah. And are we going on the helicopter as well? Is that part of the... Yeah, yeah, we'll go for a chopper ride and go see where they live and then take the airboat and go check them out and feed them. Now, you've done this before. Are the airboats safe? <laughs> yeah, it's super safe, yeah. So well, I'm, I'm really worried about it's that. It's probably safe until you fall in. Exactly, that's what Just I'm scared about. In. I have a feeling that I'm going to fall in. <laughs> I might push you in. Don't push you in. Croc feed. Oh, my God, David. Oh, oh my god, David! Oh my god, oh my god. There's like a bump here, Dory. Oh my god. <laughs> You're an idiot. It's a rent-a-car too. <laughs> oh my god. Is this the one that runs out at you? Yeah, sweet. I love this shit, eh? I love this shit, it's so cool. I hate this shit. I'm just shit scared of them, like, they're just huge massive dinosaur lizard type things and they just scare the f out of you. Hey! <laughs> he's massive. <laughs> he's so big. Oh. Ooh. oh f me, he's a big boy, isn't he? So good. <laughs> don't, don't hang over the road. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He can lunge. What's his name? He treats them like dogs. He like calls them like dogs and pats them like dogs and stuff. And it's just weird. <laughs> got one out on the bank and we were, it was like, I was in bare feet, it was all in the wilderness and stuff, and he got me a wing cup to go around the back and touch his tail, and as I was walking back to the group, it sort of turned and like ran at us, and I shit myself completely. <laughs> I'm out, I'm out. You're a big boy, you can make like... Oh, I love that thing. No, I'll just make a way for everyone else. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm shit scared of them. Cheers, boys. Cheers, mate. Good weekend. Hey, Thank Dave. You. Thanks for the day. Boys having fun? Amazing. You come out nearly every year, but I think this is my fourth time. I had the best day of my life. I'm gonna come on, you gotta lower it down. Fire up, let's go! You're never joining the army. Um, no. I found out that you took into my sister on Tinder yesterday. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> All of a sudden, she just turned up. No, come with no, me. Come no. with me. Nikita, come no. with me. No. It's actually her. <laughs> She's not bad, too. <laughs> <laughs> Down to the second turn, oh. and Reynolds has tripped over the top of McLaughlin. Why on God's earth did they do that? You can see clearly. Watch it again before you accuse anyone, because yeah, you've moved to the right. In this sport, you're going to get to a point where you don't like someone. Said so he didn't move. I'll say he did. So that's racing, mate.